Welcome back to Let's Play Super Meat Boy, guys. Last time in the story, we finished Chapter 6, The End. So we get to move on to the devilish Cotton Alley now. If you haven't gotten this far in the game yet, Cotton Alley is just the final series of levels in which you play as Bandage Girl instead of Meat Boy. There is no ability to select other characters, so you're stuck with Bandage Girl for the whole thing. But that's alright, because she controls pretty much the same as Meat Boy. In fact, it, my expectation is that it's just a palette swap. The levels themselves are uh, beautifully designed, but also horribly, horribly difficult. And uh, one of the reasons I'm going to break this up into two parts is just because it's going to make it a lot easier on me to only have to play through half the levels at a time as opposed to uh, all 20 of them. Uh, the other thing worth mentioning is that uh, I will be dying most of the time here, which is another bonus or detriment, you could say, to... Uh, to breaking it up into two parts. But anyway, I hope to give you guys a more authentic Cotton Alley experience this way. This level is uh, basically all about luck as far as I'm concerned. Uh, if you can time this, then you've got the reflexes of a, a ninja cat. But some of these levels uh, are very, very skillful. This one in particular. You really just have to have patience and wait for your spot to come. And preferably not jump into the saw like I did right there. Uh, yeah, most of these levels, uh, the trick is actually go slow, which is something I like about them. It's the same thing I mentioned liking about the end, is it saying these, uh, these levels require patience rather than urgency, but as far as I'm concerned, the difficulty on these is about as high as it gets in the light world, which makes sense. And I'm including all the, uh, all the warps and glitch zones in there as well, or warp zones and glitch worlds. So in the light world, this is about as bad as it gets. This level in particular, uh, I want to slap whoever created it square in the mouth and hopefully knock some teeth out because I spent so much time the first time I played through this level just trying to make this work. Here we go. Oh my god. There's really only like a, a few pixel spaces where you can stand safely. And of course there's uh, another part of the level right above this where you've got to dodge saws that are coming at you while dodging saws that are going up and down. But in the whole scheme of things, that's actually not that difficult compared to what we're about to face. Uh, these Cotton Alley worlds, uh, I really like them, I've got to say. Despite the fact that they're super hard, the uh, level design, I really enjoy. I think... I, I can't imagine how much work went into this. Like, think about it for me. It might take ten minutes for me to figure out how to beat one of these levels. It must have taken hours for the designers to figure out how to make the level just difficult enough that it was still beatable, but only barely beatable. You had to do it basically perfectly, which is what you have to do for pretty much all of these levels. There's almost no room for error. Errors like that, in particular. <laughs> this level, again, is all about patience. Uh, although, kind of my strategy for it is basically take the first available opportunity to jump and then just dodge the things whenever you get a chance. That leaves me in situations like that where I have to thread that needle in order to make it work. But it did work, it looks like, so that's not too bad. Hard times on these are actually relatively easy. Alright, <laughs> this one is uh, another one that doesn't really uh, fit with me cognitively. Ah, uh, so close. So yeah, my strategy for this one, run really fast and try to jump through the saws. I think that's basically the, uh, the best way to win this one. And honestly, uh, I kind of complained about there not being a character select screen. I'm not sure it would have done much good, because uh, it really, uh, Bandage Girl is the only, or I guess Meat Boy, is the only character fast enough to make it through that level, I believe. This is a level that really uh, is a pain in my ass, to say the least. Uh, I've done a little bit of clever editing here to conceal my deaths, but I'll show the replay just so you guys know uh, how much torture I went through just to bring you this level and actually most of the remaining levels in uh, this video. Oh man, there's at least 20 Meat Boys or 20 Bandage Girls that started out right there. Yep. And now only four remain, two remain. All right, or well, at least I got through it. Now, this level is actually really fun and uh, apart from the fact that I just died there, it's not too too bad provided uh, your wall jumping skills are adequate and Frankly, by this point of the game, they should be. I mean, you've done uh, a lot worse than this, let's put it that way. The only thing that you might need to know for strategy for this one is when you're on that last, or the next platform, I should say, don't try to jump through the saws, just run in between them. If you jump, you'll hit the saws every time. 
This level is particularly uh, nightmarish in its design. Anytime you, uh, you have conveyor belts and saws, I am not a big fan of it. And this just makes it worse because you can never tell which direction any of them are going. So if a conveyor belt is going to suck you into a saw or propel you upwards into a saw. Come on, I've almost got it. Getting this on my first try would be... Oh, I jinxed it. Alright, here's my replay. There's only, uh, I don't know, about five Meat Boys, so that's not too bad. But considering the level is uh, so straightforward it's in its approach, uh, you can definitely see how difficult it is that it still took me multiple tries. Uh, only two remain. Okay. So move on to 7-9 now. Or 7-10, Bullet Bob. Uh, this level, whoever made it can just die in a fire. I'm going to show you uh, the strategy for beating this level because I really think it's something that needs to be out there. Just because... Uh, uh, just fuck whoever created this level, seriously. I mean, I mean, fuck them in the nicest way possible. Like, gently love them. But also make it hurt, please. So close. So oh, come on. Okay, so you want to jump over on that one, and then jump over on that one to dissolve the blocks. Get the keys, and never stop moving unless you're under that middle platform. It's basically the strategy. But also, uh, alternate sides, and do them as quickly as possible. And you've got to be in the exact center of the platform, otherwise they can still tag you. Alright, and there we go with that one. Here's the replay. The one thing uh, complaint I have about the replay system, and I'm not sure what they could have done about it, is uh, on levels like this with dissolving blocks or missiles, or uh, anything that homes, basically, uh, you can't show a good replay because your guys... They can't show all the missiles, let's put it that way, so your guys just end up spontaneously combusting on screen. Uh, for the most part, the replay feature is really good, but just a really minor complaint. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next part of the video. Thanks again.